acrylic painting, and it has ink added to it, and then I go back with paint, and then back with ink, and back and forth, back until, until finally you don't really notice that it's, there's any ink in there at all. And the ink, the reason I do that is because you get very precise positioning of objects with the pen and ink, and then you can paint over it, and it acts as a guideline. But you also want some of that black ink to show through. It becomes like the dark branches or shadows, but it's, it's a back and forth process. And it's not a quick process. It has sort of a, a printing quality to it because I used, when I was in art school, I specialized in printmaking, silk screening, and uh, acid etching, and also mostly line cuts. So I was used to that putting block color, black or whatever ink you're working with. So that's, it's similar to that because I have that sort of background, and that's what I like with pen and ink. You get this dark contrast, and you can color it, but with these, it's the reverse. And when I left art school, I worked mainly in watercolors. And then I stopped doing that for about 10 years, doing all artwork and just working so straight for 10 years. And then I got back into it and I switched to acrylic. And the medium I work with now is acrylic paint with pen and ink. But it's more, I do a painting and then I add the ink. I don't do a pen and ink and color it. I do the reverse. I do a, a painting and then I add a, a black ink. Well, I, I, I used to work, I started working right up, right up art school. I used to work for a company in Vancouver doing their illustration in-house artists for a book publisher. And that's how I got into doing pen and ink you know, artwork. I'm unusual because, like, a lot of my friends come from Burnaby. Mm -hmm. But they all lived in, like, I have friends who lived up near Metro, where Metro Town is today. Back in their day, my day was Simpson Sears. But their, their view of Burnaby is more industrial, more commercial. Or I live by Burnaby Lake. You know, I mean, if you walked out of my house and went across the street, you're in 100 acres of woods. And that's where I, that's where I grew up as a kid. We, we played army, we, played, we built forts, we, we ran through the woods. So my vision, and I was only like a block or two away from Burnaby Mountain. So to me, it's, it was, it was um, it's, there's more history there, just natural history. Burnaby is, Forests, creeks, rocks, you know, play. And then the Burnaby Parks Board had the place where they stored all their sand and gravel for all the parks in Burnaby. So we were playing all these huge piles of sand and gravel, you know, throwing ourselves off these, you know, doing somersaults into the sand. It's a different world where we live. And I'm surprised that a lot of people didn't experience that, but we did. That was our neighborhood. So my idea of Burnaby is quite different than other people because I was brought more into the nature part of it. And my father belonged to the Natural History Society of Vancouver, so I went with him to the Natural History Society meeting. So again, it was that connection to nature all the time. And when, I, when I'm working with these, I can smell what it smells like. Because when you walk into the woods as a kid, it has that smell. And I've had some people say when they look at the of that piece, they said that it, it, you, can, you can smell the moss, you can smell the, like, the wet, the dampness. And that's like walking around Deer Lake, you get little pockets. There's some areas which have beautiful meadows out there, which is, that's what I like about Deer Lake. It has a mix of environment, environments. There's one that's all meadows and grass, and others is forested, and others is more like you're walking on a boardwalk through the swamp. And that's much like what walking around Burnaby Lake was like. And there were little med pockets of meadows you could go to as a kid. So Deer Lake is actually pretty cool that way. I think all it's done is made me go look further abroad for subject matter. Like, so not to say you can't go to Burnaby Lake, but you can, you can stand in certain places around there and you, can, you don't see any city. And that's, you know, you don't, if you just took someone and plumped them down there, they wouldn't know where they were. They wouldn't realize they're actually in the city of Burnaby. But it is getting harder to find subject matter. Like, but it just means I look further abroad. So it's, it's, it's so living in Burnaby is kind of with that stamp of that nature sort of created how I look at the world because I lived in that environment. Mm -hmm. Had I still lived up by um, where the Burnaby Art uh, Library is now, 